So uh, Jeanne d'Arc uh, mission is a five months deployment uh, for uh, uh, an amphibious task group composed of uh, one French LSD, Tonnerre, uh, and one frigate, uh, one French frigate, Surcouf. Uh, the, 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 the first goal of this deployment is to uh, maintain our uh, knowledge of this uh, strategic area for France, uh, not only here in Asia, but uh, from uh, the departure in France, we have sailed through the Mediterranean Sea, after that the, uh, the Indian Ocean, and now we will begin the Asian part of the deployment up to uh, Japan. Uh, not only to the, the goal is not the first goal is not only to um, to enhance our knowledge of the, the the area, but also to strengthen the, the links with the key partner like India that we will meet uh, during this deployment. The second uh, objective of this uh, mission is to uh, achieve the training of the cadets after an, uh, their academic studies in France. They will now uh, discover their, uh, their job and their future missions by uh, operating patrolling in sensitive areas like Indian Ocean and, uh, and also uh, Asia. Okay, so, so Tonnerre is one of the three uh, amphibious, uh, main amphibious uh, ships of the French Navy. Uh, the main mission of the ship is the amphibious assault, but we also have all the capacities to, to lead uh, humanitarian uh, uh, mission assistance. Uh, so to go more into details, we have uh, now for this deployment uh, one army detachment from the French Foreign Legion. Uh, we also have all the amphibious craft that uh, rec are requested to, to launch any amphibious assault that we could uh, uh, be ordered to do. Uh, so three amphibious uh, craft. We also have uh, uh, a Panther, uh, a French Navy helicopter Panther, and uh, had we, we the, the, the ship is also equipped with an hospital with two uh, surgery rooms uh, and uh, 70 beds to be able to take uh, in charge any casualty or uh, uh, civilian uh, casualties if, if it was necessary. Okay, so, so La Perez is a, a, a training session with uh, five nations. So France, India, Japan, United States of America and Australia. We will be uh, eight ships uh, and I will be the, the commanding officer of the task group because this uh, training uh, was uh, 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 is a French initiative. Uh, we will make many trainings during those uh, those days uh, to enhance the interoperability between the, the different navies, and we'll, it will be also a good training for the, the cadets to see how to work with so many ships and how to operate in, in a, uh, such a sensitive area. Well, a major role. Today I'm on the deck of the uh, helicopter carrier called Tonnerre, which has come uh, to uh, Kochi for three days before moving to a French-led exercise with uh, the Indian navies, the American, the Japanese, the Australian, called La Pérouse, uh, in the uh, uh, West Bengal Gulf. And uh, that's how we want to work. We want to be very pragmatic. We want to work together to enforce our values, our commitment for a free and open Indo-Pacific space. We've been pioneering with India since we launched each other our Indo-Pacific strategy a few years ago. And every day, our cooperation are getting stronger and stronger. We, we're exchanging data. We have a French officer at IFCIOR. We uh, offer mutual support with our bases. Today we are in Kochi. Uh, a few months ago you had a, a, a P-8 plane from the Indian Navy in La Réunion Island and so on and so forth. We're going to move together. Uh, what about you know, Rafael's next uh, sort of delivery? Uh, Wednesday, you know, the three Rafael. So what will be the next uh, set of Rafael's will be coming to India? Well, when it is uh, the, the 
Rafale is right on schedule and even ahead of schedule in spite of COVID. And that's a matter of immense pride for us. I mean, even if the factories have been closed for, for a few weeks, we've been coping with that. We've been working extra shifts, we've been working night, we've been working weekend in order to be able to deliver on time to India. And that's the case. The 36 Rafale will be delivered totally by the end of 2022. As of now, 21 planes have been delivered and already many have been ferried. Right now on Indian salt, uh, we have uh, eight Rafale. And another batch of three is being delivered and more to come.